For those of you just getting accustomed to 4K TV, get ready to acclimatize again. 8K TV is now coming. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com and Best Buy Canada's blog, and naturally you'll probably have questions like, why and what can 8K do for me? Let's dig in on some of the new technology and some of the products you're going to be seeing more of. 8K TV is the newest advancement in TV resolution technology, and in essence, it should be twice as good as 4K. To explain what 8K is, let's back up a bit first and start with 4K and HDTV. Resolution is made up of pixels, or microscopic squares. In a 1080p or full HD TV, there are 1920 horizontal by 1080 vertical pixels, so we call it 1080p or 1080i. Now, when we improved TV technology to 4K, we added more pixels in the same space, making for a more sharper and detailed picture. The resolution on a 4K is technically twice as good. It's 3840 by 2160 pixels, and the term 4K is technically an abbreviation of the horizontal horizontal pixel count, that 3840 number. If you round that up, it does come to about 4000 or 4K. So why did the industry start using the horizontal pixel count instead of the vertical? And why don't we call 4K TV 2160 TV? You got me, but the abbreviation 4K seems faster to say and shorter to write. It's worth noting you'll also hear 4K called Ultra HD. So 4K will have a resolution of at least 3840 by 2160. 8K then makes another leap, cramming even more pixels into the same size TV. 8K TV crams twice as many pixels in, now offering total image dimensions of 7680 by 4320. Round that horizontal pixel count of 7680 up and you get 8000 or 8K. Eight K is expected to make TVs look even more realistic, and I say expected to because there's been very little opportunity for tech blogger types like myself to experience eight K firsthand, and probably even less opportunity for you out there in the YouTube audience. So, in theory, eight K should provide twice as good a picture as four K. So you can expect things like sharper detail, more realistic and vibrant color, and overall just a much more realistic picture. 8K TV crams twice as many pixels in, now offering total image dimensions of 7680 by 4320. Round that horizontal pixel count of 7680 up, and you get 8000 or 8K. Eight K TV crams twice as many pixels in, now offering total image dimensions of 7680 by 4320. Like 4K video, getting the 4K TV isn't enough. You'll also need content that's been shot in 4K, and if your 4K TV isn't smart and doesn't allow for 4K streaming, you'll also need a content delivery device like a 4K Blu-ray player or a 4K streaming stick. Now, with 8K, you also need content that's been shot by cameras capable of capturing that 8K resolution, and right now very little of that exists. Of course, you will also need the 8K TV, and those are hard to come by right now, and they're really expensive. But make no mistake, they are coming. Four K TV is probably going to be with us for a while yet, and much in the same way that HD TV is still being used extensively, four K will probably be with us for a while, even once eight K arrives in earnest. While 8K TVs are coming, there's not a lot yet available at the consumer level, and in some cases, good luck finding one at all. So if you need a new TV, a 4K TV for right now and probably for a few years to come is still an excellent choice. Samsung and Sony have both promised 8K TVs, but it's not yet clear when exactly they'll hit the market and when they might come to Canada. Sharp Electronics was the first to sell 8K TVs in 2017 in Asia and Europe, but when they're coming to the average consumer in North America also isn't clear. The bottom line, you're going to start hearing more about 8K televisions in the future. You just may have to wait to get one. If you want to read more about 8K TV, you can head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where there's going to be a lot more content about 8K in the coming months. And if you have questions about 8K TV, post them here on the YouTube channel or down on the Best Buy blog and we'll try and get them answered as 8K emerges.
Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope you all can watch, enjoy, and learn from. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, I'm at Erin L. Y Y C.